Solano County is expected to be hit the hardest by the wind gusts, some topping out at more than 50 miles an hour. CBS News Renee Santos is in Vacaville, where people are getting ready to lose power before first light. Just over 4,600 customers will experience those shutoffs, many of them getting flyers on their front doors. People living in this Vacaville neighborhood are ready with generators and emergency kits. These are all ready to go. Amy Thorstad is getting ready to be without power for hours as PG&E begins turning off power for safety due to strong winds. Following the deadly LNU Lightning Complex fire, we had to evacuate last year and we were not ready. Amy makes sure she has what she needs. We also have bottled water in the garage and I have lots of canned food, so I have like the food, but I'm worried about the refrigerator. Still on her list is a generator, her neighbor Ann Van Mellert. Uh, to a text message. Actually. A text message. A text message, also a voicemail. Yeah, both. Turned hers on and has already consolidated her refrigerator. I usually check the generator, we do a little test run, make sure it's starting up right, and, and it did. Fire crews are bracing for what is known as the most devastating time of year for fires because of whipping winds. You never know here. I mean, the winds, the weather changes just like that. The conditions combined with extremely dry vegetation create a recipe for destruction. PG&E spent the weekend dropping off flyers like this one about the shutoffs that are meant to reduce the risk of fires from energized power lines. Amy thinks back to the Tubbs fire that sparked in October of 2017. And while she continues checking off her to-do list, like buying a generator. And I don't want to rely on my neighbors, although they have been very generous in the past saying you can use our generator. She keeps other neighbors who may need a little extra help in mind. Like we need to have like a plan in place for the elderly. Now the hope is, depending on weather conditions, to have that power back on by Tuesday afternoon. But people who live in this area, they say that they're ready for whatever happens given last fire season. All right, thanks for that. Meantime, Solano County is also closing several parks in Fairfield ahead of the shutoffs. We found many have learned to adapt to the shutoffs. This neighborhood off Marbella Lane in Vacaville threw a block party this afternoon before returning home to prepare. And we found another homeowner who placed windmills around her home to monitor the wind's speed and direction, even buying a whole house generator wired directly into the home's electrical system. Now other neighbors following the lead saying they don't have to panic about the power going off. It's just fantastic to be able to sit and be watching TV and you hear the power go out and you look around and you're okay. Your, your food in the freezer is going to be okay.